with my artwork, I'm looking to inspire. Um, I would like to help set people free with my work. I stand four feet, 11 and a half, and I scale walls that are over 100 feet tall. So with my work, I want people to see and know that they can do and be and have anything. When I think about work and what I do as a fine artist, I like to think about like, what is the story and what is the message I'm trying to convey? And how can this story be transferred to generations that are to come and that of the past? Art Basel is really special because you get artists from all around the world in one place. So I love to go to like different art fairs, galleries. What are, what's the trends and what are different artists doing right now? Pues el estilo mío es influenciado por las cosas del Caribe. The live music portion of Digging Through the Crates is so important to me personally because everything is so computer-based, phone-based, the lack of social skills. So the fact that we can come and have physical music be the focal point of the event, have the connectivity with the DJ and the patron, that is a chef's kiss. It's important because it, it's the essence of what music is. It's the essence of how music was introduced pretty much to the whole genre, right? So what happens is, is vinyl was the beginning of it, right? So if, if we didn't have vinyl, we wouldn't have cassette tapes, which then be turned into CDs, which then turned into MP3s. It's the beginning of it. Vinyl is very significant to, to the hip hop culture because it's a tangible thing that you can touch, listen to. That's something that we, kids need that now, right now. Digging through the crates is good for the hip hop culture because you got persons like myself who, I started DJing in 1992, I was 12 years old on vinyl. When Matt, the CEO of Digging Through the Crates came to me with that idea, I thought it was perfect. Being that I come from the vinyl community and we're able to bridge a gap between people that don't know vinyl and people that love vinyl. 